I'm gonna be discussing why the Echo 5075B Plus keyboard is terrible for gamers. And we're also gonna be discussing why you should buy it anyways. Now, when I bought this keyboard, I was intent on playing uh, a lot of games with it, like uh, Halo Infinite, Modern Warfare 2, I was playing Fortnite, I was doing uh, playing a lot of competitive games at the time, not to mention streaming as well. Now, this keyboard was not particularly advertised for gamers, however, I thought it looked really cool and thought I might use it for gaming anyways. Little did I know that this thing was going to be absolutely horrible for all of it. I don't think this is a personal thing, but it might just be me here. I press a little harder on the keys when I'm playing games, just as opposed to like typing, just because I'm so invested in the game that I don't really pay attention to how hard I'm pressing it, except for when I'm using this keyboard. I almost immediately started noticing that every every press that I made that was just a little bit too hard would sound like I'm, I'm breaking the keyboard. In particular, it's the durability and travel time of the keys that is really messing me up here. And personally, I just can't wait 30 years on one key to press down when I need it pressed right now which isn't usually a problem with the keyboard itself. However, most people are gonna be stuck with this one keyboard that they buy because either their keyboard broke and they want something just that just replaces that, or they don't have a surplus of keyboards like I do to replace it with. And the majority of the switches that they offer as a default for this keyboard are just not gonna be usable for gaming. Now I know what you're thinking, and I know what the title says. This keyboard sucks for competitive and also rhythm games, so it's just bad for games in general, right? Well, that's not entirely true. Roguelikes, rogue lights, and also story mode games are particularly, they're just okay for this keyboard. I play a lot of Hades these days, uh, almost every day in fact, because I love it so much. And with this keyboard, it works just fine. You don't really notice how long it takes to press each key when you're playing a game that doesn't really need uh, quick time uh, presses. Because yeah, you do need to react quickly in, in roguelikes. However, you don't need to react as fast as some 11 year old that's gonna beam you in the head in, two, in 0.05 seconds. And it's really not all bad with this keyboard. Sure, you may not be able to game with it. However, you can type with it. And I'd say really well, actually. My typing speed has gone up significantly since switching to this keyboard. It could just be the fact that I'm not using a gamer focused keyboard anymore. However, I think with the slightly almost flat uh, profile of the keycaps and also just the, the higher quality feel of those keycaps in general just makes it easier to type with. And the fact that it's hot swappable, you can use it between Bluetooth, USB, and also wired mode. I think for most people, this is going to be fine. So don't be like me and jump the gun because it looks cool, so I need it. And yeah, if you guys like this video, go watch another one and go tell everyone.